Hello YouTube. This is your Sunday edition of Starting Out Solitary and I am Wisps and Whimsy, your sub host this week in for Elliptica 24 who will hopefully return to us next week. Our topic this week is spiritual symbols. When I considered spiritual symbols, because we left this topic very broad and open so that everyone can talk about what is most important about them to them, I considered what symbols I have in my own life. Now, although I do recognize the pinnacle and I have it in some artwork and other things, particularly online, I don't really use it very much in my personal practice or in my daily life. A symbol that I do use is the Tree of Life because I feel that it represents most closely what I align with in my pagan path and because I feel that it represents not just paganism, it's also used widely in Judaism, it's used in Christianity, and it is used broadly and in a secular sense by the environmental movement. So it's something that I feel very comfortable and safe using in public because it, I, I am known to be very environmentally friendly and especially around Earth Day that definitely comes out in um, who I am and the activities I do in my job. That's a symbol that I feel very comfortable with. Now I also was thinking about the other symbols that I have because I have traveled more than one religious path which I'm sure many of us have and so I have symbols that represent my friends, they represent my family, and they represent who I used to be. And so I still keep them around to acknowledge that. So those symbols would be things like the Hamsa, or artwork that features the Star of David. And these are things that I find beauty in, and I still find a certain quality in, even though it no longer is who I am. A symbol that I feel we all can not necessarily connect with, but certainly we all have a reaction to, would be the Christian cross. Because most of the Christians in my life, they are very open with their Christianity. They do use crosses in their jewelry. They have uh, notebooks with crosses. They have crosses on their cars. It's a very open and accepted symbol in my area. And in general, I don't have a problem with it. It represents who they are and what they believe, and most of the Christians that I have contact with do not use it in a negative way. They are not very pushy, and although I know exactly where they stand, I don't feel that they're doing it maliciously. Now, there are times when I feel like this symbol is kind of used in a negative way. For instance, the roadside crosses that are very outlandish and well lit and you really cannot avoid looking at them because they are so large and in your face. And I feel like we have to recognize that that does not represent all Christians. It represents a particular person or group who chose to use that symbol in that way. And I think that's something that we need to keep in mind when we use our own symbols that we not only are representing what we think when we use them, but also it reflects on others who use that symbol as well. So I kind of feel, although I do think that it is up to each of us to define the symbol for ourselves, I also feel that there is some responsibility to recognize that what we do and how we use those symbols reflects on everyone else in the community at some, at some level. So it's something that I kind of struggle with, that sense of personal independence, because especially for those of us who are solitary or eclectic, we tend to draw on many different things, and we want to use it in our own way. But we also have to stop and consider how this reflects collectively. And that can be a bit of a struggle sometimes while we're trying to balance the two. So what do you think about this? Do you agree that this is something we need to consider? Do you feel that it is the responsibility of the beholder to discern how the um, symbol is used and what it's meant for? And is it everyone's responsibility to recognize that none of us can really represent our community? Or do you feel that 
we are representatives whether we want to be or not. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And if you have any other thoughts or um, topics that you would like us to discuss, please make a video response or post below and let us know because I'm sure everyone would love to hear your thoughts and address anything you would like us to address. So please stay tuned later this week for more videos on this topic and hopefully next week for the return of Elliptica 24. And until then, I am Wisps and Whimsy, wishing you blessings.